guys, I hope you're just as excited as this video as I am because what was that? I was into that, I was into that. I'm gonna be going over the main tips of approaching a squat as a beginner. As we all know, squatting is probably one of the most intimidating movements, exercises, whatever you wanna call it, to approach and do just because there's a lot of form and technique that goes into it. The main things as a beginner going into a squat that you need to really focus on, uh, the squat is something that takes a long time to perfect and even then there's always like things that you could work on for example I have been squatting for like five years now and I'm still getting critiqued so you're, it's not gonna be perfect when you go in there and try it the first time I can guarantee you it's not gonna be perfect when you go in there and try it for the first time but it really is just uh, paying attention to the small things and cues and making sure that you're doing a few main things that is really going to be the foundation of having a good good squat because i hope you enjoy this next footage that is going to be a part of this video it's basically me and meg squats we ended up going to chad wesley smith's gym uh juggernaut training systems we were fortunate enough to be a part of his squatting series on his channel so i'm going to link both of their channels in the description box make sure to follow them juggernaut training systems super informative on like a whole bunch of powerlifting stuff and more meg squats great great content she always brings like really informative stuff and her channel is like actually really really entertaining so make sure you subscribe to them make sure you check them out um and then i hope you enjoy the next clips and at the end of this video i'm going to be going over the main tips of approaching a squat as a beginner things you need to be aware of things you really need to focus on and execute um and from there then you guys eventually keep practicing because you know it is a skill that needs to be practiced on a regular basis throughout a week and then you're gonna be squatting as much as i do or meg or chad they're all really strong people so yes guys i hope you enjoy this next footage and i will see you at the end of this video what's up guys so i'm actually here at juggernaut with chad and meg hey <laughs> Say hello to the people. Hi, how are you? Hi, my strong, strong friend. <laughs> to actually jump into a video, and it's gonna be extremely good content. We're gonna squat. I'm gonna do high bar, so wish me luck because I haven't done high bar in a really, really long time. I'm a low bar squatter, but Chad is gonna be watching mine and Meg's squats. She's gonna go ahead and do low bar. I'm gonna do high bar, and then he's pretty much gonna dissect it. You guys know that I have been lifting for a really, really long time, and I've done bodybuilding, and I've done powerlifting. Meg is more so, uh, she just does powerlifting solely, uh, but even as advanced lifters as both of us are, uh, there's going to be a lot of breakdown, but it's good because there's always room to progress and to perfect everything, especially, especially when it comes to form. Uh, this is Chad, guys. He's the one who's going to be basically telling us that our squat sucks. <laughs> so we're going to see what sucks identify why it sucks and then teach you how to fix it and make it not suck. Yes, exactly. Determines how 
far you're bent over, right? You put the bar down, you're in a great, plot, great place here. Your hips can stay where they are, they are on the back, but your body weight's forward. So don't set your hips back and bring your whole body with it. That make sense? Yes. So from there, body weight's similar to your foot. From here, your hips are going to open and your knees bend at the same time. You just send straight down, keeping the pressure in the middle of your foot like that. And at the bottom, you want to be ready to turn on your quads. Because the first thing that's going to happen for you is that you're going to be like, oh, I don't want to push with this, so I'm going to kick my hips back to get up. And it works when the bar's low, but it'll work better to squat with a little bit more of your quads. Okay. That would be my Bad. Tickets. <laughs> 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 in the squat before you know moving on to more advanced like programming ideas and everything is one make sure that you're a great mover that your ankles move well your hips move well uh, that you're doing the things that you need to uh, to make sure you can squat properly before you begin adding a lot of intensity to that so you could check out people like my good friend dr. Quinn Hennock uh, to to make sure that you're you're able to squat properly before you start adding a lot of load. From there, having enough variety uh, in exercise variation to develop you know, well-rounded strength. So low bar squatting, high bar squatting, front squatting, belt squat, even stuff like leg press and hack squat can have a huge benefit uh, from just building hypertrophy and training the muscles of the squat. But you don't want to be overly specific because you're going to run into an idea called adaptive resistance then that if you do the, only the same thing too long, it diminishes its effect. But at the same time as a beginner, if you try and do too many different things, you're not going to be able to get good at any of them. So maybe pick you know high bar squat and front squat and just do those every single week for minimum, let's say, six weeks. So you can really see some improvement and some benefit to those. And then maybe rotate one exercise out for a new one. Do that for six weeks. Rotate the other exercise out. But stick with the exercises long enough so you can really get to see their benefit and you want to have enough variation so you're not getting stale and bored and also so you can develop well-rounded strength. From there, you know, focus on incremental progress. If every two weeks or every month even, you're putting five or 10 more pounds on the bar, you know, over the long term, that's really gonna be great for you. So if you've been training for three months or six months, you know, it, it may seem like everyone else is lifting these huge weights but keep in mind that a lot of the people, particularly people you may be watching on YouTube, have been doing this for five years, 10 years, maybe 20 years, and their results now are just accumulation of years and years of work, of years and years of putting you know, five more pounds on the bar per month. So don't feel like you have to catch up everything at once. Be patient, make sure the technique is great, and then once you've done that, start putting the weight on the bar, but focus on long-term incremental progress. Yes, and where can we find your channel? You can check us out at Juggernaut Training Systems. We've got all kinds of content, powerlifting, weightlifting, nutrition, movement, all sorts of stuff. Okay. Thank you. Hey guys, welcome back. I hope you enjoyed that footage. I want to apologize for the audio on the parts that Chad and Max were going over. What's really fixed? I was kind of hard to hear uh, on mine and Meg's squats, like just 
try your best to listen in. I'm sorry, next time the audio won't be that, that horrible. But anyways, uh, everything that Chad said, I'm kind of going to somewhat go over, but a few main things that I want to throw in there that I think would be really helpful to focus on as a beginner when squatting. But everything that he said, I know it was like a little bit confusing. Listen to it over a few more times. Um, everything he was saying as far as like training goes and like the amount of frequency, meaning like how, how many times you're training the squat a week, uh, that guy is really, really knowledgeable when it comes to stuff. Few tips that I want to jump into. I don't want you to be overwhelmed. These are just, I want you to really focus on these when you are going in to learn a squat and really, really executing all of them. Um, because these are small like habits that go to squats that a lot of people don't even really think of, you know, stuff like breathing, depth, all that stuff. I'm not going to try and overwhelm you, but these are main things to focus on uh, when learning a squat as a beginner that are going to set you up for a foundation of having an a pretty good squat in the long run. Okay, so when it comes to squatting, obviously there's two different variations of it. There's going to be high bar and there's gonna be low bar. What I would suggest to you as a beginner is playing around with both of them for like a few weeks and then going with whichever one feels most comfortable. Because with most things, people will say this, that, and that, but everyone's different. Everyone's like leverages are different. Everyone's comfort and mobility levels are different as far as like even like your hand placement, all that stuff on the bar. So whichever one is most comfortable for you, go for that one, execute it. One of them being actually breathing. A lot of people think that you are supposed to breathe in and then on the way up, breathe out, but that's actually completely wrong. Breathing has a huge important role in squatting. So you wanna breathe in when you're racked out of the squat. You wanna breathe in your abdominals, not flex your abs, but you wanna breathe in and then brace your abs. And that's why people will wear belts because it helps them brace against it and keep the back um, more safe. But anyway, when you are breathing in and bracing the abdominals, what that's doing is keeping your your spine neutral and it's keeping your lower back safe. So that is extremely important. It should be important to you, your safety in a squat. So making sure that you practice your breathing is huge. So what you wanna do is when you are getting ready to squat, take a deep breath in your abdominals, Brace your abs, go down, go up, and then let out your breath and then reset again. Breathe in, brace your abs, all that stuff. So make sure that you are on top of your breathing because that is extremely important. So another thing that you'll learn um, with squats and even with deadlifts and just everything is you want to keep spine neutrality. That is the most important important thing ever and making sure that you're on top of your breathing that plays a part in it because that is what's going to keep your spine neutral um or with some people when they squat you'll notice that they tend to lean a little bit more forward especially people who low bar just because how the bar is placed you tend to go a bit more forward but no matter what you want to keep spine neutrality so that's keeping it straight even if the back ankle is slightly like this or however if it's like this some people have really crazy squats to where like their angles are just a lot more forward but it's not bad form just make make sure that you keep spine neutrality so that's gonna be making sure that you are um, breathing correctly bracing correctly like bracing your abs correctly and um, just being aware of being aware of your spine neutrality so no matter what you want to be as upright as possible as you can in a squat so as upright as you could be without hyper extending your back so like you want to be as upright as you can with high bar people they tend to be a lot more upright just because of how the angle is but you want to be as upright as possible but nothing like trying to overextend your back because what will happen with that is when people try to be as upright as possible well, it's, it's like they're like trying to be upright. And so what's happening is like back, um, your back is extending a lot and that's just not good because there's most likely gonna be spine flexion on your lower back on the way up, which is when your back starts to round. So you do not want that. And another thing is depth. So practice how you play. Uh, I got that from a silent mic video, but really like that just makes so much sense. Like make sure that you are going to depth. Some people will not be able to go to their depth depending on just like their mobility, but make sure that you are going, your hip joint, your hips are going below your knees. So make sure you're hitting really, really good depth uh, with your squat. That is another important thing as well. On the way up, like coming from the hole up, um, coming from the hole up from your squat, when you come up, you really want to drive with your hips forward and then squeeze your glutes because that is what's 
going to bring everything into line like with your spine um, and the bar with your body just everything in a line it doesn't have to be anything crazy like just shoving them forward but you definitely want to make sure that you are really really leading with your hips forward squeezing your glutes that also activates them and then that's also going to keep everything in alignment that is everything that you want to be like consciously aware of that I feel people aren't really aware of when they start squatting and then that's what really creates the bad habits. So we went over cues when you first step into your squat, which is like making sure that your hand placement is um, even, even making sure that it's even on your back, whether that's low bar, whether it's high bar, make sure that you practice your breathing. That is a huge one. Um, it's what's really going to help you get and exert everything that you have out within the squat and not only that but it keeps you safe which is a huge huge important thing so make sure to breathe properly make sure to brace properly you're not flexing your abs remember you're breathing into your abdominals and then you are bracing make sure knees out knees out now you're going to be noticing that a lot more as a beginner uh knees out when you know you're going down when you're coming up and spine neutrality is a huge one so no matter everyone's back angles are going to be different you want to try and be as upright as possible, um, but like in a low bar, you're not gonna be as upright as you are in a high bar. It's just, it's not gonna happen. Everyone's things are different. So just make sure that you are keeping as upright as possible in the squat. Make sure you're hitting depth. Um, what else did I go over? Oh, spine neutrality, big one. And it comes down to what? To breathing. I hope you guys enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up. It really, really does help me. And hit that subscribe button if you are not. And if you haven't yet, please, please, please do. Thank you for you guys' just crazy support on a constant basis. Uh, and yes, guys, that's going to conclude that video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please comment below if you have any questions. And I love you guys.